Let's make a piston in Autodesk Fusion. This video is sponsored by Autodesk. To create this piston here, we use the features Revolve, Extrude, Mirror, and Offset Plane. So open your Autodesk Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this piston in the Autodesk Fusion, we will select the front plane and make this sketch here in the front plane. The first thing that we'll make, we'll make a center line here with 60 millimeters. Here will be our midpoint, okay? So 60 millimeters here, and then we we'll make this sketch here. Okay, we have the dimensions here. The distance here is a half of 85 millimeters, okay? And the distance here is a half of 75 millimeters. And the distance between this teeth here is 2 millimeters, okay? And this one is 3 millimeters. So open the Autodesk Fusion, go to create a sketch, select the front plane, select a line, and make a line here with 60 millimeters. Sorry, 60 millimeters here. Create another line here. I'll make this get here. We'll put the dimensions later. Okay, no problem. Okay, go to sketch dimension. The distance here is 42.5 millimeters. Go to constraints, horizontal vertical, select this point in this. Okay, go to sketch dimension again. The distance between this point and this point here is 37.5 millimeters. Okay, go to constraint again, select horizontal vertical, select this point. Okay. Now go to sketch dimension, the distance here, two millimeters. Go to constraint, select equal, select this line here and this line, this line and this line here, and this one. And go to sketch dimension, the distance here is three millimeters. Okay, we made this, okay. Now, finish the sketch, go to Revolve Features, the axis is this line here, and press OK. We made this, OK? OK. Now, we'll select uh, the front plane again and make this cut here. To make this, I will make a ellipse in this plane here at the midpoint. The distance of ellipse is 70 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Okay. So go to create a sketch, select the right plane. Go to create, select ellipse, click here in the midpoint. 70 millimeters. Okay. By 50 millimeters. We made this. Okay. Finish the sketch, go to extrude, select the ellipse, the extended type here is all, and the direction select symmetric, operation cut, and press OK. We made this cut here, OK. Now let's make this cut here in the bottom of the piston, OK. Will be this cut here. Okay, we have the dimensions here. To make this, we'll make a circle here with 85 millimeters of diameter, and then we'll make two lines here. And the distance between these lines is 60 millimeters. Okay, so go to create a sketch, select here the top plane. Let me rotate this. Select the circle, click here in the midpoint, make a circle here with 85 millimeters. 
Okay. Now select a line, make a line here and another line here. Go to constraints, select the horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between these two lines is 60 millimeters. Okay. We have this two profile here. Finish the sketch. Go to extract, select this two profile. And make a cut here. Let me see the dimensions. This cut has, has 40 millimeters of distance. Okay. This cut is from this point to this point here. So here we have 20 millimeters and here we have 40 millimeters, okay? The other distance between these two points here is 60 millimeters. So make a cut here with 40 millimeters. Operation cut and press OK. We made this. Okay. Now we will create this cut here. Let me raise here a little bit. We'll make this cut here, okay? We have this arc. This arc is 35 millimeters of diameter, of radius, sorry. And we have the distance between these two lines. That is 40 millimeters. And this cut, we'll need to extrude the cut here from this point here to this point here, okay? Here we have 10 millimeters, more five millimeters here, okay? So the distance between this point and this point is 60 millimeters minus 15 millimeters, okay? Four, 45 millimeters. So let's make this sketch here in the top plane. Go to create a sketch, select the top plane. Let me rotate it here a little bit. Go to create, select the project, include the project. Select this edge here and this edge here. Press OK. We made this. Now select two point rectangle, center rectangle. Click here on this point. The distance here, 40 millimeters. OK. Now go to Create, select the arc, center point arc, click here in the midpoint, make an arc here with 35 millimeters of radius. Okay. Go to constraint, select the coincident, select this point here and this point, this point and this point here. Okay. Now, Make a construction line here. Okay, go to mirror, select this arc here, the mirror line, select this line here, press OK. We made this, finish the sketch, show this body here. Go to extra, select this profile, and make a cut here with 45 millimeters. Operation cut. Press OK. We made this, OK. Just to show you how it is. It is like this, OK. Now let's make this cylinder here, OK. The diameter is 15 millimeters, the inside and the outside 20 millimeters. Okay. So the first thing that we'll make, we'll create a plane. Or no, we'll select this face here and create this cat in this face. We know that the distance from the center to this point here is 30 millimeters. 34 millimeters, okay, 34 millimeters, the distance between the center to this point, and the distance between the center to this face here is 30 millimeters. So the distance here between these two points is 4 millimeters, okay? So we'll 
we will extrude here to this side 4 millimeters, and to this side here, we needed to extrude this 30 millimeters from this face here. And this face here, we, we know that the distance here is 10 millimeters because of this dimension here, okay? So the distance from this point, this point is 10 millimeters. So third minus 10 millimeters here, 20 millimeters, okay? So we will extrude this four millimeters to this side and to this side here, 20 millimeters. So open the fusion, go to create a sketch, select this face here. The position of the circle here, I forget this, 30 millimeters from this face here, okay? So select the circle, make a circle here with Make two circles here, sorry. One with 20 millimeters of diameter and the other one with 15 millimeters of diameter, okay? Go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and the midpoint here. And go to create project, include project, select this edge here, press OK. And the distance between this edge and the center of this circle here is 30 millimeters, press OK. We made this, okay. Finish the sketch. Now here, go to extract. Select this profile here, okay. And the direction here is two side. To this side here is four millimeters, okay. And to the other side is 20 millimeters. We made this. Operation join and press OK. We made this, OK. Now go to create and select mirror. The object type, select the features. The object, select this extrude here. The mirror plane is, the, is this plane here. We made the same to the other side, press OK. Now show the sketch 5 again, go to extract and select this circle here, okay? And the direction here, one side, the extended, select the all, flip the direction and the operation here is cut, press OK. We made this cut here. Okay. We have this. Okay. Now to finish this, we needed to make this this cut here. Okay. So the dimensions of this hole here is 7 millimeters by three millimeters okay we needed to make an offset plane from this space to this point here okay so the distance here will be 30 millimeters plus 10 millimeters of radius okay 30 millimeters to the center more 10 millimeters of radius okay so 40 millimeters so go to Fusion, select the construct, offset plane, select this face here, make an offset here, minus 40 millimeters, and press OK. We made this new plane here, OK. Now go to create a sketch and select this plane here, OK. Make a circle with 3 millimeters and another one with 7 millimeters. And the distance between the center of the circle and the midpoint here is 15 millimeters. Okay, so go to create, select the circle, make a circle here with 7 millimeters and another one with 3 millimeters. Go to constraints, horizontal vertical, select this point here and this point here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is 15 millimeters. We made this, okay. 
And here the first circle here, the bigger with seven millimeters, will make a cut with one millimeters because we know that the this circle here has 10 millimeters of radius. So the distance here is nine, so less one millimeters. Okay. And the three millimeter circles will make a cut here. So it is easy. Show this body here, go to finish the sketch, go to extrude, select this profile, make a cut here with one millimeters, operation cut, press OK. Now show the sketch six again, go to extrude, select this profile, make a cut here with eight millimeters and press OK. Hide the sketch six, we made this, OK. So here we finish our exercise, so thanks for watching, subscribe my channel for more, and see you in the next video, bye bye.